The overseas expansion of the Mycenaeans has brought them into contact with other cultures that simultaneously pose opportunities and dangers. In a defiant but inspired act, Paris, Prince of Troy, has kidnapped the beautiful Helen of Sparta and taken her back to his home. The fury of your brother Menelaus, Helen's husband and king of Sparta, knows no bounds, and he has appealed to you, Agamemnon, king of Mycenae, for help. Jumping at the opportunity for war and renown, you have assembled a vast army bent on the destruction of Troy. The city-state lies far across the Aegean Sea, however, and the campaign will require a strong navy to launch a seaborne invasion of the Trojan heartland. Go forth dauntlessly. Eternal fame and glory await. All right. Welcome everyone back to the Glory of Greece campaign. This is scenario four, the Trojan War, and it is a good scenario. Probably the best one so far by a mile. Hector, Prince of Troy, must be slain along with Paris and capture the treasure of Priam. Let's begin. So we want to build a storage pit here and we want to grab woods. These guys can grab berries. Let's grab the army. Okay, this is very much a uh, dock mission. Uh, there's two things I want to do actually with docks. One is build a navy out of this base, and the other being to build a dockyard here, where all the fishies are. Alright, so the enemy will um, land on us numerous times, so we're going to try and take care of them ideally before they start landing on us, but at least set ourselves up so that we can deal with their attacks. We're going to want to build a bit of an army, but not right this moment. Resources are tight and we want to focus on eco to start things off. Boats are absolutely king. We need to take down the enemy dock ASAP Rocky. And cripple Red, basically. Wood is the big problem, but all these fishies I want, so I'm going to build a couple of ships, fishing boats. I'll bring one of these guys over just to repair. needs to be repaired. Repairing boats is a hell of a lot cheaper and faster than building new ones. ships we should now be able to make a start on taking down reds i want to take care of this transport boat off my lands preemptive strike i guess you could call it careful we don't get too far in range of the uh, archer boats up the sentry towers even Take care of boats. Forces the enemy to kind of build more fishing boats. Oh, we'll take care of that. Let's 
and replace these guys. Need loads more people on wood for now. Actually, we can do gold production at this point. I think it means building fishing boats instead of um, war galleys. But they might not have even upgraded, to be fair. This early on in the game. Either way, we just want to take care of this dock. They won't rebuild the dock. So once it's gone, it's gone. Or wigig, as I like to call it. Once it's gone, it's gone. Now, that's not the case with every building from the enemy. Um, they do rebuild some. Namely, military buildings that you destroy inside of their base. But taking care of this does sort out our water problem nice and early on. I do want to just scout the rest of the map, make sure we're taking care of all of their um, outlying or yellows um, ships as well. Stops any surprise attacks, and I'm not expecting. Uh, we're not in a position to take down sentry towers, really. We probably could, but it's not really worth it. We're probably going to be avoiding all of the sentry towers around here anyway. At this point, it might even be prudent to actually uh, kill off some of these ships, which are just sinking um, a lot of supply meat. But we're also going to grab this island, because it has lots of gold. We'll take care of all the lions here, so that our workers can eventually go there unimpeded. Let's just make, start a breach head against the enemy. We can start our invasion proper, boys. Now, we need to bring a couple of workers over. Fish eco is perfect. Something to upgrade the boys. Over. You, my friend, are going to start building our forward base. With you guys. These ones are going to build a gold mine over here. Bring two more with me. Okay, at this point, transport ships are kind of redundant. We don't really want them anyway. They're just inefficient supply. 
And to be honest, for the most part, so too are our, um, uh, whatever they're called, war galleys. Grab these, pop a storage pit here, and then we're going to start with gold. I to limit their gold production, so I'm going to take these guys out. It's far more efficient to build an army on this side of the map than it is to try and um, transport troops back and forth. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a siege workshop there. Yeah, we got the things here just to deal with the uh, initial army the enemy sends at us. Uh, I've got a worker in there somewhere. Where are you? There. So, going to want to pretty much build one of everything. So wood is still my problem, good to know. Actually these... Yeah, I'm gonna have to sort out wood first. Let's build one there. Let's build a storage... No, I've not got enough wood, <laughs> naturally. Alright, let's build some more wood cutters. We need to be doing gold, not wood. That's archery range. Already max pop, that's unfortunate. So next thing we want to do is build a government center. So we can reduce the uh, upkeep in population for uh, barracks units. Just means we can build more of them. And then we're pretty much ready to start our invasion of Troy. Now don't be hasty, Master Baggins. Worker in there as well, mate. Back it up, boys. For some reason, these don't auto target, so we're going to have to manually target instead. Okay, so what we're looking to target here is the barracks. It's not going to cripple their um, unit production, but it definitely helps. Uh, so these guys. Okay, we are crippling their economy, so they can't produce as many units as they would want. And we're also crippling their gold income as well. Uh, 
Also funneling a couple of troops here and there as well, which is nice for us. So not getting to a critical mass. Just slowly whittling away. At this point, these guys are redundant. These guys are pretty much were done at this point. Perhaps I'm going to build a couple more farms. It seems to be more under control now. I don't need to build any more buildings for the most part. Get these out of the way. So no one can deal with all of their catapults and things. Leftover is awesome. So what I'm gonna do next? I can click on the enemies. Target down these. And yeah, we can pretty much slow push for the win now at this point, I think. They do silly things like that. Man, it's hard to click on the enemies sometimes. So you don't want to get too hasty here. They've got heroes and other things we still need to take care of. Target is the uh, stables. I don't know why these don't auto attack, but whatever. I don't want to get over eager. Still got a lot of sentry towers. They will rebuild these things, so I guess we just kill the workers as they try. At this point, I think we've thinned out the herd enough that we can actually push in a little bit more. Definitely don't want to be going that route. We do still need to be somewhat careful. Yeah, their economy's crippled as all hell now. They can't afford anything for the most part not producing any more troops by the looks of it, so mission accomplished in that regards. They do still have a second army, well a second uh, team we need to be careful of. Okay, 
now you're attacking. Nice, so that's Hero Hector. That's nice and dead. And that's Paris. He just walks in here and nabbed the uh, artifacts. And that should be what she wrote for this mission. GG's. Just when all seemed lost, the scheme of wily Odysseus, king of Ithaca, has succeeded. Grey-eyed Athena surely smiles upon you as the Trojans, drunk on the euphoria of their supposed victory, carelessly threw caution to the wind. They dragged Odysseus's work, a large wooden horse containing a band of your finest men inside the city. In the dark of the night, your men emerged and opened the gates to the city. The air is filled with the fearful yells of the surprised Trojans as your intrepid warriors flood through the streets, torching the city and carrying its wealth and enslaved population back to your ships. Lovely, chuffly. Alrighty, folks, that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.